In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one way that we can use a credit limit to stop a sale order from confirming if a customer is over a certain credit limit. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our customer contacts. So we'll go into orders, customers, and we'll just create a new customer. Say this is customer one and we'll save this. We also need to create a product. So we'll just create a test product and we'll say this is a thousand bucks and we'll save this as well. And now let's do a sale for customer one and we'll make this, let's just make this a thousand and one. So we'll confirm and we'll create an invoice and we'll confirm that invoice. Now, if we go to a customer record, we'll see that they have a total due of $1,001. So now what I wanna do is set a credit limit on this customer. There's a default field here that says credit limit, so I'm just going to bring that in onto our contact card. So we have credit limit set here. And we'll just set the credit limit to $1,000. Now we're set at $1,000. Now we're going to go into our sales orders. And we're going to add some fields to our sale order. So we'll add a related field. This first related field is going to be customer credit limit. And we'll say this is credit limit. And we're going to add another related field and this is going to be total due. So we're gonna do customer total due. And we'll call this total due as well. And we're going to add one more field that's going to be a checkbox. And we'll just call this Let's just call this cell. So this checkbox is going to be used in order to tell us whether or not we can sell the product to the customer or whether or not we can confirm this sale order. So what we're gonna do is create an automated action that updates this checkbox based on this credit limit and the total due. So anytime the sales order is edited, it will update this sell checkbox based on the total due and the credit limit for the customer. So let's create that automated action. So we're going to type in automated actions and we're going to create a new one. It's going to be, let's say credit limit and we'll do it on the model of sale order, sale dot order. Okay, and what we're gonna do is execute Python code. And the trigger is going to be on creation and update. So now what we wanna do is we're going to say if our total due, so this is x underscore studio total due, is greater than or equal to our credit limit. So X underscore studio credit limit. Then we want to set that, that checkbox to true. So we're going to say record X underscore studio cell equals one. So we have our total due is greater than or equal to our credit limit. 
then we want to set our checkbox to 1. And now if we go into our sales, and we edit this, actually let's create a new sale, say customer 1, see those fields automatically populate, we'll add a product, and let's save this. As you can see, this automatically got checked because our total due is greater than our credit limit. And now what we want to do from here is stop the sale. So we don't want our employees to confirm the sale because of this credit limit. The way we can do that is to use approval rules. So in confirm, we're going to set an approval rule. And what we'll do here is we'll say that a sale administrator so someone with access rights to sales app. So uh, admin right to the sales app. So we'll say sale and we'll say administrator has to approve this order if our credit or if our sell box is checked. So essentially, if our credit limit is reached, we want to make sure that an administrator has to come in here and review the sale order before it can be confirmed. So what we'll do is sell is true then an admin so a user with admin rights has to come in and confirm this order so now this should all work i'm an administrator in this database so i can confirm it but if a user did not have administrator access rights they would not be able to confirm this order so we'll confirm and you'll see that because I was an admin, I was able to approve this order, but any other user without sales admin rights would not have been able to confirm this order. And we can also hide these fields so not everyone sees this. We can make this invisible. And make this invisible. So now that is exactly how we can set up a credit limit. Um, there's many different ways and many different options you can change here. You might want to check the total due plus the total of this order. Um, but this is just a very simple example on how we might go about accomplishing this use case.